from. Um, I'm really excited to have Mandy Rosenthal, who is the Senior Director of Partnerships over at Pinterest, and later will be joined by Megan Recker, who is the uh, Senior Partnerships Manager of the Ecosystem at Mars Pet Food. Um, both are bringing a lot of amazing value and, and work in the e-commerce space across multiple verticals and on different platforms. Um, so I'd love to jump in and get started. Um, and as, as Heather mentioned, our first discussion will be around digital platforms, publishers, influencers, and the rise of shoppable ads with Mandy. Welcome, Mandy. Well, hey, Holly. Hi, Heather. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, as they said, my name is Mandy Rosenthal, and I manage all of our third-party shopping partnerships at Pinterest. And I'm super excited to be here today or in my home, joining me virtually today to chat about what is the value of, um, of shopping at Pinterest for your brand? Why should your brand, brand be leveraging Pinterest for their shopping campaigns? And touching a little bit about the current climate as it stands today, and then talking a little bit about our new shopping format. So thank you, Holly. Great. So um, let's just kind of jump into the, to the question. So you know, what does shopping mean for Pinterest? Yes, big question. Um, you know, shopping is one of our major focuses at Pinterest uh, for the past five or so years. I mean, it's been a long time that we've been growing our shopping capabilities. And, you know, I think this goes without saying, obviously the landscape today has changed, right? The current climate, there's been an unprecedented change in the retail landscape as um, consumers are shifting more of their spending to online channels. Right, you can't go in the store, so they're buying them online. So e-commerce has become more important than ever. But during this time, we've been seeing that shoppers are actually turning to Pinterest as a key shopping destination, right? They're looking to get inspiration, to get new ideas. And honestly, in a way, it's kind of a refreshing alternative to the news and political cycle uh, that's going on. So they're coming to Pinterest to walk the virtual aisles and search for visual ideas that are gonna help them adapt to their new reality. Um, ultimately, what does that look like? Um, you know, painters have always been coming to Pinterest for those things. Yes, now, of course, but they've always been doing that to look for inspiration and ideas, whether that be for maybe new home office decor or arts and crafts for their kids or at home fitness regimens. You know, these are obviously timely examples, but product discovery and shopping has, have always been key components of the inspiration that people are looking for. When you get inspired by something, you wanna be able to purchase it and that's our goal. If you see it, you should be able to buy it. So um, we know that obviously online shopping has not been very inspirational over the years. When you go to a site, right, and you see just a product image on a blank white background, that tells you nothing about how the product is going to be replicated in your life. There's no context on how that product can be used within your everyday. So that's why we've invested so heavily in visual search over the years. Uh, what we like to say and think is that our visual search makes the internet shoppable. And that's because when you save a pin on Pinterest, we're able to tell you what it is, where it's from, where to buy it, where to buy similar items, and then ultimately how to style it. And that's, that's inspiration, right? When you think about how you have inspired shopping in the real world, you know, offline, maybe you go to a boutique and there's all these beautiful handcrafted items, or you open up a catalog, right? And you see uh, that living room with the dog and the kids running around and the couch and the pillows and the blankets, or you see a mannequin with the mannequin wearing the shirt and the top, but also the accessories, the shoes, the, you know, the purse, et cetera. So you're able to really feel inspired by it and replicate it within your life. And that's how we want Pinterest to feel, right? So that's what shopping means at Pinterest is we want a user to be able to open up the app, open up the platform and feel like they've just opened up a catalog with ideas that have been handpicked just for them. Um, Furthermore on that, you know, our goal is to take a user from inspiration to action, right? So we're this positive corner of the internet now, probably more than ever. And we make it really easy to take your online idea offline with inspired shopping, which we consider very different than impulse shopping, right? Inspired shopping allows you to engage further with that product. You're able to have some context on how it could fit into your life. Maybe you compare it to other products and that's what is the difference and that's how it translates into um, 
this really inspirational, influential phase of a shopper's journey. 